In the 2009 vintage, Robert Parker awarded this winery, Cos d'Estonel, 100 points, stating that it was perhaps the greatest Bordeaux he'd ever tasted. And of course, the sales went ballistic after that, as did the price. Architecturally, the chateau is one of the most unique in Bordeaux, with its Indian and Asian influence combined with the stately tradition of Bordeaux. But when you go through the gates and enter through the huge doorways, you'll find the most modern, state-of-the-art winery in the entire Bordeaux region. It's luxurious, with gleaming stainless steel tanks, a jaw-dropping display of barrels, and a private wine cellar that James Bond would envy. But all of this luxury and modern equipment is simply the result of an incredibly successful business. The reason that wine lovers pay hundreds of dollars a bottle is because the wines are spectacular. And, as always, the magic comes from the vineyard. The blend is made up of approximately 60% Cabernet Sauvignon, 35% Merlot and just a tiny little splash of Cabernet Franc. Of course, it depends on the vintage. Another interesting thing about Cos d'Estornel is here on the hilltop, this is where the Cabernet Sauvignon is planted because Cabernet needs extra sunshine, extra ripeness, and so you get better sun exposure here on the hilltop compared to down below where you see more of the Merlot planted. One of the viticultural factors that's widely found in the Medoc is that the vines are actually planted pretty close together. And that creates a certain competition uh, between the vines for minerals, nutrients and water and forces the roots deep into the subsoil. It also lowers the vigor of each plant, which results in lower yields, less bunches per vine, and that gives you the all-important concentration of flavor in the glass. Here you see the Cabernet Sauvignon grape variety and look at just how tiny the berries are. Very thick skins and not a lot of pulp. And so when you actually go to ferment them and macerate them, the skins, the thickness of the skins give very intense colors and also a lot of tannin to the wines, which is why you've got to age them for 10 plus years. A lot of the chateau in the Medoc are absolutely gorgeous. Architecturally here, Cos d'Estornel has an Asian inspiration with its turrets that almost resemble a temple. But what's amazing to me is that nobody actually lives here. The proprietors prefer to live in the bustling city of Bordeaux.